A lot of people have been asking how I uh, made the Sacred Harp Quarantine Chorus video. The three things that I'm going to explain are the video elements, audio syncing, and what I did with some different additional audio effects that I, I did. I'm just going to play through it really quick to explain that all of these people have submitted their videos. They're not actually singing in real time. But in order for them to sound as though they are singing all together, I created a master sync track for them to sing along to, and thus staying in the same pitch as well as in the same time as everyone else. They would record themselves on either a separate device or a device that allowed them to view the master sync video at the same time. Then they would send the recording of themselves to me through um, a, uh, a shared Google Drive folder. I bring those into a video editing software. So what I'm using is Premiere Pro editing software. Let's open that up and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm working with here. This is the finished tenor section here. Ivy submitted this video. So I would cut out, I would use, and this is very crude because I had to do 156 of these, but pretty much just would like take that and now I can move this anywhere I want and I would go one by one by one by one until I came up with this. Once I got all those videos up then I could look at the audio. So let's bring the, all the audio up into one screen. And I found that visually if I just maybe zoomed in on one audio peak here where everybody's singing at one point now you'll see that this isn't perfectly lined up, but if I if I like tried to line this up here, well, that might make it more out of line on another section of that audio. So I took an average, you know, and I tried to look at the beginning, the middle, and the end to make sure that everybody was synced up on average throughout the entire song. So that's the audio part. I can export all of this into one file. Now let's say I have this one and the bass section and the treble section and the altos brought those into After Effects. This software is as insane as it looks. I mean, I look at this. This is this is what they told me to do on one of the tutorials on YouTube. They're like, "Hey, click on this view and um, now I'm looking at three instead of one screen that I can't understand. I've got four of them that I don't understand." So this VR thing was a bit of a learning curve. Um, so I created the environment where all the different p parts are actually arranged like they would be in a true Sacred Harp singing environment. So now I have these four different sections, tracked the audio, tracked the video, exported that, and I brought that back into Premiere. So let me explain just a little bit of this audio tracking. I've got bass singers coming a little bit more out of the left channel and I've got the treble singers just a little bit more out of the right channel and when I cut to this part here look down here in this audio track I made Tim's audio track a little bit louder and it's increasing just ever so slightly as we're as we zoom in on him but then as he disappears and you see you're presented with the alto section of the singing you see that his audio goes away and it disappears and the alto audio comes up. The basses are a little bit louder on the left and the trebles are a little bit louder on the right. So now as the video pans, that synthesized camera movement, I also wanted to have the same kind of effect to happen with the audio. So I brought the treble audio up right there during that and then I brought the bass section to center and I brought the alto section to the left and I brought the treble section to the right. But yeah, so that's how I did the audio panning and I think that kind of covers how I did the whole thing. Um, a lot of people were asking about how I created this video and I'm, I'm so happy that people have enjoyed it. Yeah, I think that covers it. Uh, so thanks again, uh, signing out. Thanks for listening, bye.